Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Skies of Arcadia. We're in Mount Kazai. Also, this is embarrassing. This is like a couple installments old now, but I totally forgot to use my captain's stripe I got after beating Gregorio. Whoops. Did that just boost it by 2,000? Yeah, 44,000 to 46. I'll take it. Anyway, Mount Kazai, let's go in. Wasn't this the- it's gorgeous. Wasn't this the music from, um, Shrine Island? Ow, 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 that rope burn. Also, I sure am glad that when you beat a dungeon, they tend to just beam you out, because I don't want to climb all that. Yeah, we're doing this. Yep. I like the walking, by the way. Like, whoa. So, this is how this dungeon is going to work. So, welcome to the concept of moving around underwater. That was the underwater suit that was in the ship part guy's shop. Welcome to all this. I'll come back. Also, new fights, and let's take a look at our new weapons as well, including Fina's. Oh, they're all facing the wrong way, that's good. Okay. Trial Beast? Aika has a- whoa, look at that. Bizarre. Alright. Fina has Cupel, of course. And Enrique- whoa, damn, that looks freaking sweet. Wow. Now let's pay attention to Fina's attack. Ouch. I'll take it. Oh yeah, and just because... Uh, Epsilon Mirror, why not? It's expensive, but it does restore magic. Whoa. She's Metal Mario, except it's Metal Heika. Another black map from the, uh, the looper. Alright. Now, how in the world do I get there? Oh. <laughs> Alright, that's not terrible. I was wondering if I would have to press a different switch to get here, but new. New enemies, perhaps? Yes, what are they, seals? Or walruses? Like, it's hard to tell. Slithar? No, they're the salamander enemies, except blue. Glad to get rid of these things. Yeah, Pyrum, no thanks. Didn't hurt very much, but that looks pretty badass. 
now I want to see what Pyrolin looks like. Ah, oh, come on, guy. Give me a break. Alright, well, you're all dead. It appears that the switch was here to fill this area with water. Doesn't really matter, but raising those blocks does matter. I don't think I can get into fights when underwater. I gotta find that other Oh, I guess it's back this way. Yeah, there it is. A little hard to see on screen. I had to use the map for that one. Even though I travel relatively slowly underwater, I guess at least it keeps me out of encounters for a little while. However, what I'm really here to do is cross this bridge. I didn't really want that other switch. That was just for this room. I wanted this switch. Yeah. The main room. You see what this dungeon is? Everything comes back to that first room. I don't know where, but I think the switch probably opened a water valve somewhere in these ruins. Bingo, and they even let you walk out across the bridge we just opened. Thank you, game. That was awfully considerate. Uh. Alright, going back. Great. <laughs> now we're gonna take the uh, the opposite side here, if I can avoid battles. In we go. Oh, look at all this. I'll go back. I'm gonna go right around to the opposite of where we entered. This ramp is useless now. And yeah, you can hear that, that moonfish sound. I can't do anything about it, at least not yet. Moving on to the southern part of this dungeon. Whoa. Well, there's a chest. I can't really do anything about that right now. Unfortunately. But this looks gorgeous. Look at this. Oh dear. Virus? Huh. Was it like an urchin? Huh. He's dead now. <laughs> Alright. 
That wasn't so bad. No, it really wasn't. There's a straight up dead end. Fine, as long as there aren't two completely different ways to go for real. Also, wow, an underground waterfall. As far as I can tell. Looks like we can go underwater here, too. Yep, going underwater. So cool that there's a thing you can do. Now I'll go up that passage a little later. What I want to do is take a different path first. This will take us in an interesting direction as we frolic our way through the water here. Here we go. Yep, somehow Zivil and Bane made it here too. What a jerk. Just have everybody wail on him. Over there. Actually, this guy's pretty tough. Oh, there we go. Finally, some real damage. Huh. Why not? <laughs> I was hoping he wouldn't do that. If I'm lucky, Enrique might even finish him off. This guy and his counters, though. Done. I'll take it. Good, I'll see. All right. Wind song orb. Once again, I suspect it's just uh, a chest sought by, or a um, a, like a treasure sought by Zivil and Bane. Keep forgetting, it's a regular item. Yeah, in Mount Kazai. As for the Vidal seed. Also, I never did take a good look at uh, 
the underwater suit. Using a blue moonstone, this waterproof suit allows the wearer to breathe underwater. Okay, done. I think there are only a couple of chests in this dungeon. This should not be a big deal, actually. So now I'm going to go back to where I should be going. Which means I have to navigate back to the, uh, the other underwater chamber that I came from. Fortunately, it looks like, um, underwater trips are enemy free. I guess what would attack me under here, and how would I even fight at that point, so the game's being a little nice to me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit up this waterfall, or its underside, I guess. And we are out. Also, I think this will probably lead to nothing, right? Yeah, just a dead end. Keeping it easy. I'm reminded almost of the Blue Cave from Quest 64, if that brings back uh, childhood nightmares for anybody. However, this place is way more forgiving. Whoa, hi. Even though you're terrifying, I'm gonna go ahead and- well, nah, I better not. Let's just cut this fury of this thing, and the others can kill what lizards they may, or salamanders. I just wanna make sure this big guy dies. I hope he does. Because the salamanders are annoying because they can cast Pyram for days. God, they're so gross. I'm glad I set Fina on man-told duty. Prepare yourself. Over there. Good. Ugh. Oh, beautiful. Ah, there it is. Now you die. I'm glad everyone is okay. Hey, Fina Maxter, uh, yellow proficiency. Now, why did I come all the way over here for this? more text box for like I wonder what that was by this point you probably figured it out now we go back <laughs> of course there'd be one more fight Huh. 
back underwater we go. And this time we could leave via the way we uh, originally came in, so it should be a little faster. Where is that ramp, though? Oh, there it is. Beautiful. And now I can just uh, go back to the main room. Back to the main hub we go. Been a while since we've seen this hallway type, but we are back. There we are. Yeah, now I gotta go around to the other side. I checked it out briefly before, but I'll just hit up the other side now. Yeah, now we have all sorts of ramps coming in, so we gotta do this right. So... Yeah, this is one of these. This is a, uh, a trial and error room. If you go down the wrong uh, jump, then I think you just uh, fall to the floor and have to climb your way back out. So, at least we got this. Let's get out of here. Let's find out how to get out of here. I can go down this way, but where does it... Oh, I, oh, I have to hop off again. That's the catch. So I can't just walk back up here. Yeah, if you mess up the jump, then you messed up. Too bad. I guess I go out here. Wow, this game really punishes you for choosing wrong. You have to walk all this way. Like, you really feel the regret, don't you? Note to self, do not choose poorly. Okay, we're up. So that's my exit. So here... I'll just go back out the way I came in. My job here is done. I have flooded the central passage. Huh? this rock? It looks like some sort of switch. I guess it's my first time pressing it. I guess I could have just pressed this first, but whatever. Dramatic tension, whatever. We're good. Now we actually float at the central chamber. Yay! Now I can go down for sure.
<laughs> no turning back, it looks like. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Dead. Game over. <laughs> Okay. We're in. That's what we were trying the whole time. Okay. All the way up. Whew, that's what that was. Also, yeah, I actually can. Is That was not a point of no return. I can write, oops, I didn't actually mean to do that, but it's a convenient shortcut anyway. Oh, I can move. Let's see if I could ride that back up. Although I guess it really doesn't matter. I could still jump off the ramp anyway. This is an awfully slow platform though. Okay, we're good. Kinda cool though. Strangely, I cannot manipulate the camera while we're doing this, but okay, there we go. At least it just lets me see where I'm going. That's kind of nice, even though it doesn't really matter. It's either I go to this rope and go down, or I jump down the uh, into the abyss and then end up where I was anyway, so whatever. Okay, we're here. Okay, not surprising that there is no change. buddy. That was a terrible bite. Forget that. That wasn't so bad. Y easy for you to say, guy who wasn't, like, manhandled by a giant insect. Well, not an insect, a bug. Gross. This looks like it might be the way to go. There's one path I want that's not the way to go. Yeah, there we go. Hey, a moonberry. At this point, I think my treasure hunting is over, except for the plot treasure. Time to beat this dungeon. All right, let's go the proper way. This dungeon wasn't terrible. Oh, I'm actually fighting them. Jeez. Okay, hi. Who are you? Other than dead, I mean. Well, at 
these things these things have health. Nice. Weird. Nice. Okay, that wasn't so bad. An utter victory. Fina has learned Pyrolin. Oh, and they're actually off the walls. I guess this passageway and this trap are both built to prevent people from going any deeper into this place. Yeah, well, too bad for them. I wrecked it. Something is up with this room, huh? I think that's really all I had to do. If I had just gone through the hallway back below, I would have had another fight with those wall robots. Moving on through. I can get into a fight. Alright, final territory. Give us a save point. That's kind of them. That's the boss. Oh my god. Okay. Oops. Yeah, we're good, we're good. 
Oh, just as well I didn't do anything. Steel Skin makes him completely invincible for a turn. So, not gonna bother fighting him now anyway. I want all the focus I can get. Yeah, and he's no longer invincible. Okay. Moons, give me and now everyone's buffed. Or shortly will be. Cutlass Fury, because why not? Here goes. By the way, I just want to throw this one out there. Outside of bounties, this is probably my least favorite boss in the game. You will probably see why. If not, then I'll tell you, but it'll happen. Bites you. There it is. What an asshole. He could just do that. Oh, it's the worst. So, ha have fun. <laughs> the two times I've beaten this game, I think he's only used that move once during this fight, but I don't think that that's a guarantee that he'll only do it once. You know, I might be better off just focusing with everybody except for Vice and just Pirate's Wrath over and over. Oh, that is delightful. And by the way, Steel Skin is also irritating because it can just totally waste your turn. Moons, give me yeah, I'm just going to focus, I guess. If I can keep pulling off this Pirate's Wrath stuff, then I'll be in good shape. Music fool, yeah, he might heal. Fina's focus is not great. Yeah, Enrique's is worth three. Haha. Oh no! Pain in the ass. All right, fine. Actually. And Royal Blade, because why not? Ah, crap. Whatever, he's not gonna hit me. That's such a cool looking move. The graphical capability of the Dreamcast! We are truly in the future! Do I have to rebuff Vice? Because that'd be irritating. I think I do. That sucks. And now Enrique is gonna just do nothing. Oh, 
I mean, it looks cool. that went off before Pirate's Wrath did. I really hope it doesn't do Sacred Land, because I don't think I'm killing it with this move. I got it, hey! We're like, yep, we got him. I'm assuming that's gonna be for Fina. Because why not? Fina or Aika. A shimmering robe that reflects moonlight. The way a calm lake reflects light at night. That's really damn good. It lowers her hit though. I wonder how it would do with um with Aika. Better magic and dodge. Slightly lower defense. I still think uh, the wind goes to Fina. Okay. But of course, that's not what we came here for. What we came here for was... So this is the blue crystal. We finally found it. So beautiful. <laughs> Vice, that's another crystal. You know what that means. It's time to celebrate. Yes. Actually, let's include Fina in this one. I really love the way they do this. It's been a while since we've seen the animation. But let's see how they handle it now. Uh. What? But I I don't know what to do. Ah, oh, don't worry about it. Just give it a try. Yes. <laughs> Blue Moon Crystal. Ah, oh, thank you. It just puts us here. An ancient gem with the power of wind and water. It has the power to summon the blue gigas. I have the power to save the game. And for now, it is time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We beat the Mount Kazai dungeon. It had an interesting new underwater mechanic where you can slowly move around with your suit. But otherwise, it was a pretty straightforward dungeon. And we got ourselves a blue crystal without too terribly much trouble. That said, Skies of Arcadia has had something of a pattern so far. When we got the red crystal, we quickly lost it to the Valuans and had to fight the Gigas. We got the green crystal. We didn't quite lose it to the Valuans, but the Valuans made the green Gigas a threat to us and we had to fight that too. Now we have the blue crystal, do you think we'll break the streak? There's always that chance. Until next time, everyone.